What's up guys, today we're going over how to import audio into Pro Tools. All right, so I have this session that we had open in our new track video. If you haven't watched that, be sure to check that out. I'll link that below. So to import audio, all we have to do is go to file, import, audio. And you can see right here, the, uh, the quick key is shift command I, shift control I if you're on a PC. So we'll click on that. Here we go, it brings up a window that will allow you to select which audio you'd like to import. So I'm gonna to go to our desktop. We have a couple audio files here. So I can sit here and select which audio file I want to import. And once I make a selection here, it gives you all the info about the type of file. So it shows that it's a WAV file, shows the length, the size, bit depth, sample rate, and the number of channels. So two means it's a stereo file. We have the ability to add, but what that does is it reads from the original file here on our desktop and it doesn't make a copy. And although it's like faster to read that, if this file were to ever get deleted or move or somewhere or, or go somewhere else that we can't find it and can't relink it somehow, um, then we'd be out of luck because, uh, you know, everything was linked to this file. So I like to go ahead and convert it. Also, we have a 48, kilohertz sample rate in our session. So this is why it says convert. Um, if it's the same sample rate, if the audio file is the same sample rate as your session, it'll say copy. But I like to convert it so this makes a copy as a, uh, a 48,000 hertz or 48 kilohertz audio file. So we can hit convert on that. And everything that you're importing will show up over here in this window. Down here, you're able to preview the audio file that you have selected. So I could hit play right here and it'll preview the audio and hit stop. And I can uh, scan through the audio file here. And I can change the volume right here. Okay, so hit stop. Under the clips to import, you can choose to select something here and remove, or you can remove everything that's here if you decide you don't want to import any of this, any of the audio files that you have selected to import. Um, but below here we have this window that shows apply SRC, which is sample rate conversion. What that means is because this is a 44.1 kilohertz file and we have a session that's 48 kilohertz, this has to be converted um, in order to match that sample rate. So we use sample rate conversion. Otherwise, it won't play back right, and it'll just uh, mess up how it sounds in our DAW. Okay, so we want to apply sample rate conversion. This is the source sample rate, so it should automatically default to what the sample rate is. If it's wrong, you can change it here in this menu. And then destination sample rate is the sample rate of your Pro Tools session. And then the quality, so you can do low quality conversion, and that's the fastest, but you want it to be um, the best that it can be, so we'll use what's called Tweakhead. There you go, you just hit done when you're ready to import. And it'll ask you where you want the uh, imported files to go. So when we make a Pro Tools session, this is actually what all is contained in that Pro Tools session. You have the session file itself, clip groups, bounced files, which we'll get into bouncing later, but this is basically exported files. Um, our audio files folder, so every audio file that we have in our session, uh, as long as we copy it to here or import it into here, it'll be contained within this audio files folder and then video files. And these are our session file backups. So we want to use the audio files folder within our session and then hit open and it'll process. And then it will ask you how you want to import. So you can choose clip list or new track. So I'll show you what it looks like when you go to new track, click that, and then it asks you the location you want to import it. So it'll make a new track, but you can choose where you want the clip to start. So I can say it's the start of the session. So at zero, um, or I can make a selection and have it in the selection, or I can choose what's called spot and place it at a specific time code, but I'm just going to leave it at session start for now and hit okay. So it makes a brand new track called Untitled and it's zoomed out, so we gotta zoom in. 
there we go. It just named it based on the file name of the of the track we imported, or the, the file we imported, and that's how that works. And over here on the right-hand side, you have our clip list. So what that is is any audio file you you import, any file that you have here in your session that you record, um, or if you split files up, if you're like splicing things and editing things, um, all the clips will be contained right here in the clip list. So if you see a little drop down area, that means that there's more than one channel. This is a stereo file, so it'll have a left and a right channel. So if we expand that, it'll show the left and the right channel. Right, so if we had, if we wanted to grab the stereo file here and drag it to, you know, a track, we could just click and hold this and drag it into our track right here. If we select that clip, it'll be selected here in the clip list, which is pretty cool. I want to delete this, so we already have one in here. All right. If I wanted to just take one of these channels, like the left channel, and drag it to a mono track, then I could do that just by expanding this right here, choosing the left channel and dragging it to one of the mono tracks. And that is the left channel of that particular file. All right. So I'll quickly go over importing. So that's shift command I. Is import audio. I want to do this untitled 2. You can see that it's a 44.1 kilohertz file. It's stereo. And so we'll have to convert that. You're using Tweakhead. All right. And I'll hit done. And I want that to go to our audio files folder. Hit open. And now this import options box comes up. And I want to choose clip list. So I'll choose clip list and hit OK. And this goes directly to our clip list. It doesn't create a track at all. So if I already had a track made and I just wanted to click and drag, I can do that there. And I hit Command Z to undo. Um, if I wanted to create a new track with something that's already in the clip list, I can click and drag that down here. And um, when this yellow box shows up like this, if I release my mouse, it'll create a brand new track here. See, it's untitled two, and that is our untitled two file. Okay, we'll delete that, and delete that track. So we can see here, because it's a stereo file, it has two channels, and our meter looks a bit different because it's two channels, there's two bars here. If we wanted to be able to split that into mono, like two mono, file, two mono files, we can right click and choose split into mono. And that keeps that stereo track right here, but it makes a left and a right, two separate mono tracks from that stereo file. But the cool thing is it keeps this stereo track as well. If we want to get rid of that, just hit delete. And this is why I was saying that it'll warn you if you have active clips if you're trying to delete tracks. So just verify that you want to delete that. I know that I do, so I'll hit delete. There we go. All right, so once you have multiple tracks in here, if you want to rearrange, what you can do is you can click and drag this down to rearrange it or up to rearrange it. Wherever that yellow line goes is where it's going to be inserted, okay? All right, so that is how you import audio into Pro Tools. Again, that is File, Import, Audio, or Shift-Command-I. You choose the file that you want to import and you choose convert if you'd like to make a copy and convert it to the sample rate of your session. Um, otherwise you'd hit add and it would read directly from the original file. I always think it's best safest to convert it. Once you have done that, you hit done, choose your destination folder, hit open. It asks you where you would like to import it, new track or clip list, hit okay. Since we already have um, this untitled track in our clip list, it made a dot one, so it keeps it separate. Sometimes it'll ask you um, if you'd like to go ahead and make a duplicate file like that. Um, and if you do, it'll say stamp file, and you choose that. Otherwise, 
you'd be like, oh, I already have this in here. I don't need that. You can hit cancel. All right, guys. So yeah, it is that easy. Just go to file, import audio or shift command I and follow the prompts from there and you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Oh.